What's going on everyone, Gilman with Live All These Stocks back with another Moderna update video where we'll take a look at how this past week works for Moderna, some key support and resistance levels that we are looking at moving into the future. We'll also take a look at some key pieces of news that I think really helped push the stock this week. We'll talk about the pattern we see developing. So it's a pretty jam-packed video. Hope you guys are excited for it. If you are invested in Moderna or if you wanna sometime soon be an investor in Moderna, hope you found this video helpful. So before we start the video, I just wanna quickly share that I made a Patreon page um, for sharing trade ideas on other stocks that I'm looking at, um, including the ones I make a video on, but also some other ones that I think might be oversold, overbought, and I'll share you know specific trade ideas on how I'm playing them, and then alert on kind of any stock or option plays that I am looking at and putting on. So if that sounds like something interesting to you, um, link will be down in the description. You can sign up there. Um, and then the other question I get is what am I using in my videos uh, for charting? I'm using Weeble. And um, if you like what you see with Weeble, if you like the interface or you're looking to open um, another account to buy stocks or options, uh, Weeble has free options too in case you cared. Um, so that link will be in the description as well. Um, if you sign up using that link, we both get some free shares, I think. So, you know, definitely check that out. So both links in the description. Um, let's get right into the video now. Let me hit record and we will get right into it. So a great, great week for Moderna. Um, we were running up a bunch and then we saw a little bit of a slowdown, but we talked about why that happened. We'll discuss that. But before that, kind of two pieces of news that I wanted to cover here before we move on to some articles that I wanted to look at is that they got the approval in Singapore. Um, so emergency use authorization in Singapore, another country where they can now begin to sell vaccines. And then I think it was Switzerland um, that uh, ordered additional doses. I could be wrong, so don't quote me there. But another country um, ordered uh, additional doses. Um, which is great news for the stock because obviously, you know, the more they sell, the more they can, um, you know, get get paid for, right? So um, I believe it was Switzerland and then Singapore approved it. Now let's take a look at another key piece of news that came out. So South Korea was in talks with Moderna over a $200 million investment to build a vaccine factory in the country, um, which is great news for the company as well. Um, they wanted to invest $200 million to be able to do that. Um, this will allow their 2021 production target to at least 600 million doses, and they wanna kind of get that up to a billion doses. So that's great. Um, they have had to delay shipments in recent weeks, right? So they've had some supply issues and not being able to deliver. So having this will definitely help them there as well as kind of have it in that part of the world um, as well. So, you know, the shipments from that part of the world to kind of the Eastern part of the world will definitely be a lot easier than if we were to ship it from a place farther away, right? So from a logistical perspective, also a great move, um, which is great. This article uh, talks a lot about kind of the the dip potential with Moderna, the amount of that its valuation has gone up and short interest is increasing, which, typically would be a little bit concerning. And I do agree that, you know, Moderna with the amount it's gone up, it's getting a little bit hard to justify kind of the valuation that it's currently at, right? But with that being said, um, I'll kind of discuss the pattern that we see and what, what that could mean for the stock pushing forward. So Moderna, first things first, right? What it has coming up is a couple things that I think are gonna keep uh, potentially um, not necessarily pushing the stock price up, but push, pushing the company in the right direction. And then the stock price can follow that as well. First things first, they are pl uh, planning on expanding to the 12 to 17 age group in September back to school period, right? So as you guys know, a lot of parts of the countries are still doing online schools. Um, so when kids start to go back, right, they're gonna have to get vaccinated and probably a lot of a lot of the country, right? They're gonna mandate that vaccination, like they do a couple other vaccinations before you could go back to campus. So they're looking at that right now. They're doing a clinical trial on that. And then the other thing that they're working on that we've covered in a previous video as well is that they're looking at the possibility of a third dose of vaccine as a booster. So the Moderna CEO has come out and said, hey, this COVID thing might be around with us for a while, right? Kind of like the flu, where every year the flu comes and might have slightly different variants and we go through the flu season, which means a lot of us have to take flu shots. 
Similar to that, if COVID is you know changing a little bit every year, coming back, maybe it becomes a part of our lives. Not necessarily to the extent that it is now, right? But it's still you know going to make people sick and people are going to need boosters. Which, although isn't the best news that COVID's going to be around, is good news for the stock, right? So they're going to increase immunity against new variants of the virus, and they're going to do strain-specific boosters, right? So for parts of the world that need a specific variant, uh, that have more of the specific variant, they're going to use that booster, which is great. And then the other thing, if you've been with me from the beginning of the Moderna um, videos, is the concern that a lot of investors have had is, well, what happens with the company post-COVID, right? Sure, we've got this 12, 11 to 13 billion dollars in revenue with the coronavirus vaccine, but what happens next, right? Do we go back to not even having a billion dollars that Moderna had prior to kind of the coronavirus pandemic? And that's why Moderna is taking a lot of the profits from this vaccine and they're gonna do phase one studies of preventative vaccines for HIV and the seasonal flu this year, right? So using their mRNA technology for the flu could be great as well because the flu is definitely something that we have um, every year. They've got 20 candidates in the pipeline, including investigational vaccines for other infectious diseases and potential treatments for autoimmune dis disorders and cancer. Um, so they've also got two potential cancer treatments and they've got another therapeutic um, all in phase two trials. So great, great news for the company, assuming some of these make it through to phase three and hopefully get approved by the FDA, right? We're talking continuing revenue, different revenue sources and a way for Moderna to really push forward from the coronavirus. And instead of being a company that was just around for the coronavirus pandemic, become that household name and kind of reinvent itself. And the coronavirus pandemic could have just been the starting point and the boost it needed to really become mainstream. So with all that covered, um, I um, you know wanted to take a look at the stock price. Um, and see you know what we see so you guys if you've been with me for a little bit we were in this down trend right here uh saw a turn around where i drew this line and we were not expecting it to kind of stay above this line for a really long time but so far it's done a great job of doing that um so what are we looking at you know in terms of levels of support levels of resistance um moving forward right so um, real quick, actually, I wanted to cover, I sold a third of my position at 145, sold a third in the 170s, and I still have a third that I'm holding on to, um, just to see what it could do, but I made sure to lock in profits. The reason I locked it in at 145, because that was my initial goal, um, didn't realize, it, I mean, didn't know, to be 100% honest with you guys, that it would keep running, but that's okay, stuck to my plan, still made um, a decent percentage return in a very short amount of time, so not complaining there. Now what we're talking about is this cup and handle pattern. I covered it in a video a couple days ago as well. So we've got the cup here, we've got the handle here. Um, so what we need now, what we're watching now, you guys, is how it is when it approaches 185.98. It needs to approach it with a little bit of momentum. It needs to approach it with a little bit of, uh, vol a lot of volume, really. And then if that happens, we could see it breaking out and kind of going from there, right? So if I um, just type in cup and handle pattern um, and go to, you know, kind of the first insert in Vestopedia, I think this is what I showed last time as well. I wanna see where the picture is. Where's the picture? There it is. So cup, right, what you saw, handle. Typically the handle will be a little bit um, longer of a downtrend than we saw with Moderna. Um, so what, what, what we could be seeing right now is this, right? So we could see this happening right now. So if I go back to the candle here, right? This, these like little candles. And so maybe we need to draw this right, oh dear. Maybe we need to draw this like right here, right? Right, because what, what, this, what this picture does, as you can see, is it does do this little U thing at the end, right? But then it keeps going, get, keeps getting rejected from this and then eventually it breaks out and then this is kind of the break that we're looking at where it kind of goes oh dear what did i do um, where it goes way beyond and kind of breaks out right so that's why i think this week is going to be really crucial for moderna um, if we if we get rejected um, we've got to we have to get rejected sometime soon right if we keep pushing up break through 186 breakout can already happen but if we see a little bit of a failed um, you know if we get rejected by maybe like 
we don't know where the line is yet, right? That's the key right now is figuring out if we are still doing the handle or if we're breaking out. So if we see the line here, maybe we start to consolidate for a little bit more and then we kind of see it turn around like we saw here. So maybe we see it hitting here and then kind of coming down a little bit before kind of turning around and going back up. So that's the key thing here. But if it, the key here again in this picture is if you take a look here, right? We didn't go as high as the previous point because if we go to all time highs, then I think we can start to break out here, but if we, we might have to follow a little bit down to get that up. Again, not saying either of those need to happen, just sharing with you guys what I see. Um, in terms of other levels of support and resistance, right? We've got the AEMA um, coming down here at 163. So levels of support, what we have is this 172's level, 170, high 172's. Then we've got the AEMA and the 163s, and then we've got another level of support right at 160. Um, the 21 EMA is all the way down at 148. From a level of resistance perspective, right? We don't know yet. We don't really have one other than um, this 185.98. Again, because that's the next point from our uh, kind of where we ended on Friday and the next high point from that. So I think it's gonna be a really exciting week for Moderna. Maybe we start to break out hit 200 even maybe, or we see a little bit more of a consolidation, again, kind of like this pattern here. Um, and then at that point, we'll just keep an eye out for that reversal like we were when we first started making Moderna videos. And hopefully, if you guys are along for the ride, we will try to catch that breakout when it happens, either way. Um, so that's all I had for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to my channel down below. Sign up for the Patreon if you are interested in kind of other options and stocks that I'm looking at and I'll share those on there. Sign up for Webull if you like what you see here with the interface. That Both of those links will be in the description. Um, hope you guys all had an amazing weekend and have a great trading week ahead of you. Um, I'll see you guys uh, later this week for another video. Until then, let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time. Thank you.